Hello and welcome to the fifth tutorial in the Calcus 2DX Flappy Bird C++ series and in this part we're going to be looking at implementing the game scene background. We'll be using the source code from the previous part of the series and I think that's pretty much going to be the case for all of these tutorials so there'll be a link in the description to that source code if you don't have it or if you haven't done it. So let's add the game screen static background which is going to be the same as the background on the main menu and also the background on... no, yeah. That's the only other place we've added it in the main menu at the moment. So we want to go to game scene.cpp. I'm opening within the Xcode IDE. And then here we're going to do auto background. Actually, you know what? It's going to be a lot faster if I just literally copy and paste it from here. We've already done it. We're not doing anything special with it. Might as well copy and paste it. That's also a good habit to get into. Reuse code. If it's already there, you know it works. And it's the same or a bit of modification. Let's reuse it. And the, before we add the scrolling pipes, we need to make the scene into a physics scene as we will use the built-in physics engine for collision detection. We're not going to actually be doing any sort of pipes in this tutorial. So for just clear that up, but we still need to set it up in preparation. So in here, we're going to do private Cocos 2D Physics World. Is IntelliSense going to pop up? It is indeed. That's Drix Scene World. So this is the local instance of the Physics World. Then we're going to have a method. We'll create that first. Void set Physics World. And we're, this is going to take Cocos uh, 2D. Physics world, call it all asterisk world, and then in here we're gonna we're just gonna do inline function, it's gonna be very simple. We're just gonna assign world to scene world so we can modify the modify the physics world later on if we need to. And then we're gonna go to our create scene method, and what we're gonna do is instead of using create, we're gonna use create with physics. Only need one set of brackets. The next thing we're going to do is scene get physics world set debug draw mask physics world debug draw all. You generally won't want this in an actual game. This is just so we can see the physics bodies and where they are and how they are formed so we can actually see collision detection. And this is basically good for debugging as the name suggests right here, debug draw all. And the last thing we're going to do is layer set physics world. This is the method that we just created and we're going to provide it scene get physics world and now that is it for the create scene method we will now add a edge boundary because in Flappy Bird if you collide with the edge aka the top or bottom because you're not technically moving on the screen from left or right the, the background moving or you're moving but the horizontal position is always the same it's only the vertical position that changes so if the bird collides with the edge it can well die and so what we're going to do is here, we're going to do auto edge node equals, now from the first of all we're going to do auto edge body, sorry, equals physics body, column column create edge box and for the size we're just going to specify visible size and then we're going to specify a material, so physics body material default comma free and then we're going to do auto edge node we're not going to use a sprite we're just going to use a basic node to attach the physics body to create semicolon edge node set position and for the position we're just going to do point we're going to center it basically the same as this so we're, we'll just copy and paste it because the edge node is going to be centered. Again, just get into the habit of reusing code that you've already created. Instead of typing it again and again. 
I think when you're originally learning, then yeah, typing it out quite a lot does help because it puts it into your mind. But once you're a bit more experienced, just reuse the code. Set physics body, so it's going to set the physics body. So we're going to attach it, edge body, not edge node, edge body. And then the last thing we've got to do is this add child edge body in edge node. And now if we run this, we'll get the simulator, we'll get the splash screen, that'll go to the main menu, we'll click the play button and we'll have a game scene background plus a red edge box drawn, or at least that's what I hope. Because that's what we have coded and hopefully that works. So we've got the splash screen. Forgot to mention in the previous tutorial something that I did want to mention. These are the artwork in this game are just placeholders. We it's a mixture of something that we just quickly uh, created for this series, and it's a mixture of artwork from old games. So for that reason, it obviously won't look the best. But this series isn't to create the artwork of Flappy Bird, but to actually program Flappy Bird. So if we click play, we get the game screen. And we get the background, and plus we get the edge box, so physics bodies can collide with it. That is it for this part of the series. In the next part, we're going to be looking at the pipe class creation. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.